It's a day Chinese and Japanese people should never forget. On December 13th, 1937, China's capital at the time, Nanjing, was invaded by Japanese soldiers. The soldiers then committed murder, rape, torture and arson for six weeks. Over 300,000 Chinese civilians and disarmed soldiers were killed and more than 20,000 women were raped. Many survivors were left with war scars, both physical and psychological, that have stayed with them ever since. At present, there are less than a hundred survivors of the Nanjing Massacre still alive. However, to the dismay of the Chinese people, some right-wing Japanese politicians and groups have downplayed the death toll or even denied that a massacre had ever taken place at all, despite the clear evidence. On Thursday, China marked the 81st anniversary of the Nanjing Massacre to mourn all those killed by Japanese invaders and to remember the war crimes that the Japanese soldiers committed. In 2014, the Chinese government officially made December 13th a day of mourning. Over the past few decades, massacre survivors and their descendants, even Japanese soldiers who participated in the war atrocities, have chosen to speak out and tell the truth about what happened. Scholars and writers, both Chinese and Japanese, have collected an abundance of accounts and archives of the massacre. Iris Chan, the late Chinese-American author of the book The Rape of Nanking, is one of them. Chang's mother said, if we don't let our younger generations know about this part of history, then no lessons will be learned and there will be no lasting peace for the world. Tamaki Matsuoka is a former primary school teacher in Japan. She has spent the past 30 years recording and passing on the memories of the 1937 massacre. She said, We have to convey the historical truth about the Nanjing massacre to our people and our future generations so as to let people understand the preciousness of the hard-earned peace and prevent war tragedies from happening again. <laughs>